We are talking about investigation one, the effect of bulbs in a series on current and voltage. Use a test circuit similar to this one, all right, to test your hypothesis and record your data in the table below. Use the boxes on the right to give the wires and battery a little resistance. Okay, so I first need to make a circuit that looks like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Gonna get my battery, wire, switch, wire, I need an ammeter, wire, ammeter, wire, 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 light bulb, wire, and I'm going to start with just one, okay? Now I need my voltmeter. I'm going to set it up here. In here. Alright, I should have zero volts because it's not turned on. So now I'm going to turn it on. What voltage is your battery? I'm going to turn off the current. What voltage is your battery? If you click on your battery, it should show your voltage, 9 volts. So that's going to go right there, 9 volts. Alright. Okay. Now, what is the voltage when I'm just using one bulb? It's nine volts, okay? And it should be nine volts because my battery is putting out nine volts. Bulb one is sharing none of this voltage with anybody else, okay? So bulb one is using nine volt volts. Now let's look at our ammeter. Our current is 0.9 amps. Okay, our second ammeter is the same, 0.9 amps. All right, now let's add another bulb. I'm gonna cut this guy, move it over, put a light there. Okay, let's test one bulb. The voltage is 4.50. All right, two bulbs is nine. I'm just gonna copy and paste that, all right? So now let me ask you this. How much voltage is our battery putting out? Nine volts, nine divided by two is? So that means each bulb is using 4.5 volts. So if I have 4.5 volts for this bulb, 4.5 volts for this bulb, add them together, and that gives me nine volts. Okay, 4.5 here, 4.5 here, all right? Our current is 0.45 on both of our ammeters. Point four five amps, okay? Now we need a third light bulb. So I'm gonna cut this. All right, we have three light bulbs, one nine volt battery. Our amps, 0.3 on both of our ammeters. Okay. Now let's check our voltage. One light bulb is giving us three volts.
All right, two light bulbs is giving us six volts. Oop. What do you think three light bulbs is gonna give us? Nine volts. Okay, so how many light bulbs do we have in this experiment? We have three. Nine volt battery divided by three light bulbs is three volts, okay? So that's three volts each. Each light bulb is using three volts. All right, describe the relationship between the current and the number of bulbs in the series. Well, we have one bulb here, it's 0.9. As we add a bulb, we're saying, what's point, what's point 0.9 divided by two? Hmm? 0.9 divided by two is 0.45. What's point 0.9 divided by three? It's point 0.3. Okay, so as the number of bulbs increases, the amps go, they decrease. Describe the relationship between the voltages in the circuit and the number of bulbs. One bulb is using nine, when there's just one bulb, it's using nine volts. As the number increases, the voltage goes down per bulb. Okay, so whenever one thing goes up and the other goes down, because the first one is going up, that is called an inverse relationship. Okay, write a conclusion of your investigation. All right, another one that we had trouble with in class was this one. All right, so let's look at this. This is an experiment, okay? A group of students conducted an experiment using resistors and a voltmeter, okay? I want to delete all of these. Okay, resistance with, um, they were provided a selection of resistors with resistances of 100 ohms, 220 ohms, and 300 ohms, okay? So I'm gonna get one resistor out and I'm gonna make sure it's the right amount. 100, so I'm gonna slide this guy until it's at 100, okay? 100 ohms. The other one is 220, all right? Well, this one only goes up to 120, so I'm gonna have to delete it and I'm gonna have to get a different resistor. All right, woo, that's a lot. Slide it down until it's 220, okay? And then the third one of 330. Okay, we have our three resistors and a three volt battery. So I'm gonna go get me a battery. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna turn it down to three volts. Now, how much is a AA battery usually? If you were to Google this, a AA battery is usually 1.5 volts. So some people said that they thought it was two batteries because of the symbol. Well, it could be. Um, AA batteries are usually 1.5 volts. So if we wanted three volts, then we could put two 1.5 batteries together. But since this is a simulator, we can just make this one battery three volts, okay? They were also provided with a resistor whose value was not known. So I'm just gonna grab this guy. We don't know this guy's resistance, okay? The resistors they were given were labeled as follows. A, B, D, oh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. X is the resistor with the unknown resistance. Below is their write-up. We set up the four circuits shown in the diagrams. For each circuit, we measured the voltage across the battery and the voltage across each resistor separately. 
Our results are shown below. Well, let's recreate this experiment, okay? We're gonna need our wires. Ooh. Okay, we want resistor A connected to resistor B of the same amount. I don't know if we can duplicate, so I'm gonna have to get another resistor and I'm changing this to 100. Now look at the colors of the resistor as I change the amount. They also change. Okay, all right. Now I need my voltmeter. Okay, I am testing. We have 1.5 volts here, which is what we got for resistor A. All right, that's what they got, good. Now we're gonna test this one, 1.5 volts. Okay, so far so good. Now we are testing it with, A is gonna stay the same, okay? And then we're gonna use the D resistor, this guy right here. Okay, now 0.94 voltage here for A. All right, 2.06, so it's a little bit off. There's is a little bit off. You could change that though, okay? So we're gonna say 2.06. We're just gonna beep, beep, beep. Okay. Now, we want to test the next one, and that's with resistor F of 330 ohms. All right, total voltage is three volts. 0.7 for this guy right here for uh, resistor A. Resistor F is 2.3, okay? So, so far, so good. All right, now we need to measure our unknown resistor. Okay, total volts is three. Resistor A Well, we don't know what this resistor is, so we can't actually do that, I'm realizing. Okay, so what do you think Abby and Mark's research question was? Now, we're using the scientific method here, okay? The scientific method, make an observation, ask a question. What was Abby and Mark's research question? It may have been something along the lines of how much resistance is resistor X? Okay, what was the independent variable? What is an independent variable? An independent variable is a variable that is changed or controlled in a science experiment to test the effects on the dependent variable. So what is changed or controlled? Resistor A is controlled, okay? Um, the voltage changes, all right? Let's, we have to have a clear understanding before we can answer, answer these questions between the independent and the dependent variable. And I have actually sent an email to Ms. Tolls, and we will see what the science teacher says, okay? All right, so what are the controlled variables? What sort of relationship does the data suggest? Well, we still don't know what resistor X is do we? So 
what we're going to do, we're going to pull up a calculator, okay? If we have, let's see if I can also pull up. A sticky okay so on our sticky note we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of math okay we have resistor a of 100 ohms putting out 1.20 volts so I'm gonna say 1.20 all right, draw a line under here. It would look like this. Or let's see, like this. Okay, divided by 100 ohms equals 1.8 volts over x. So now we're going to cross multiply. And when we cross multiply, we are multiplying these together and multiplying these together. So 1.20 times x equals x. 100 times 1.8 equals 180. Right? We could have just moved the decimal over. All right, so now we have to divide both. We w we're solving for x. So we have to divide both sides by 120. Okay, so the left side divided by 1.20 cancels that out. And so we're saying 180 divided by 1.20. That gives us 150. So that tells us that the resistance for resistor x is 150. Now whenever we go in here, we should be able to, oh, we can't use this one, we gotta use a different resistor, okay? We should be able to set this resistor to 150 and get the same numbers that our scientists got, okay? So we're testing resistor A and that's 1.20 volts, good. Testing resistor X, and it's 1.8 volts. Okay, so we know 100% that resistor X is 150 ohms. Okay. Okay, so Miss Tolls is saying that the controlled variables would be the three volt battery, the connecting wires, the 100 ohm resistor, and the digital voltmeter. Independent, independent variables would be the additional resistors that are being changed, okay? Um, the dependent variable would be the voltage that's being measured. And so that should help us with that, okay? What sort of relationship does the data suggest? Now, if you notice something, when we add these together, how many volts are we getting? When we add these together, how many volts are we getting? And these, and these. Every single time, we have three volts because that's how much our battery is putting out, okay? So as the resistance increases, our voltage increases our voltage for that resistor increases, okay? Can the resistance of resistor X be found from their investigation data? Well, we already found it, so yes. And if this was on paper, you could 100% work out that just like we did. And that's it.